This is a theory of why the universe is expanding at an accelerated rate. Uh, it ties in with anti-gravity, uh, a common stumbling block when considering the possibility of anti-gravity or gravity manipulation uh, is if it were possible then you could um, set up an anti-gravity platform over a wheel and uh, the wheel would uh, continuously fall in the direction of normal gravity and it would accelerate and uh, create this free energy be like a perpetual motion machine and that's impossible you can't get energy from nothing therefore gravity manipulation should be impossible uh, I thought about this for a few years and uh, uh, it's easier to see how things are impossible uh, so I was just trying to figure out uh, how could it be possible and I um, came up with this I'll mention later anyway uh, so why is the universe expanding uh, the Big Bang Theory attempts to answer that question uh, but it doesn't make a lot of sense because it's, it's accelerating and it's expansion as we've learned and, uh, and uh, where did the Big Bang start from you know if, if everything's uh, blew up from some single point it seems like it would be important to know where it started from and and trace back those trajectories to find the the uh, starting point, you know. Uh, so that's another question, and go over this for a minute. Uh, fission and fusion. Fission um, is the breakdown of matter and releases energy. Uh, energy and uh, that's the breakdown of matter used in uh, nuclear fission plants. A fusion is believed to also release energy um, and is the combining of matter uh, like turning hydrogen into helium and uh, that's what's believed to power the sun. The, uh, fusion and fission power the sun and uh, and that's I think that's the official explanation uh, however we've been unable to uh, create fusion generators like we do nuclear fission plants and uh, a lot of people would probably guess that if fission takes uh, fission gives off energy then fusion must take energy but if that were true, then what powers the sun? You know, it opens another can of worms. Uh, let's see. So uh, a machine takes energy to move. Thereby, perpetual mo motion machines are impossible. It takes energy to move a mass. Yet, uh, gravity moves everything. So where does gravity get its energy to do that? What's powering gravity? That question seems almost absurd because gravity isn't a machine, it's, it's just a force of attraction. Uh, nothing should be needed to power it. But what if it did? Uh, let's just assume it did. What might that something be? Well, the answer I came up with was, uh, and uh, I'm sure it's crossed other people's minds before. Maybe they didn't uh, think it through as much, or uh, the means of mass communicating it in an unbiased manner weren't available at the time or something. Uh, I'm certain other people have thought of it. But uh, basically, uh, basically, uh, the theory the theory is the uh, the universe is expanding at um, an accelerated rate 
on a large scale, everything's pushing out from everything else. Because, on a small scale, gravity is attracting everything together. Uh, I don't know exactly how, but it's like they're two sides of the same coin. Uh, so if that's true, let's look at let's look at uh, the sun for a second. Let's see, let's see where that goes. And uh, so that would mean we got a problem here. What's powering the sun? If uh, if fission and fission uh, gives off energy, and fusion takes just as much energy to put matter together, then how how is the sun going to work? Well, uh, it could work through gravity. Uh, at some critical mass, gravity would give the sun enough uh, mass to provide the heat and the pressure needed to um, to do both fission and fusion, to fuse matter together and then break it apart through fission, and give off energy, so that gravity would power the sun, and um, the expansion of the universe powers gravity. And uh, another interesting uh, thing about that is on Earth there are, there are these high tides, and there's there's two high tides. One is exactly opposite of the moon. Uh, the moon pulls the oceans up through gravity and gravity also pulls or the moon pulls the earth uh, and uh, pulls the earth away f from the oceans here forming the second tide that seems to make sense but it could it could be just part of the solution it could also be partly that um, like a small part of it, it is the earth is being pulled away from the oceans the other part is that uh, th this is some sort of uh, that we're seeing some sort of anti-gravity and the expansion of the universe at an accelerated rate is really anti-gravity um, there's gravity there's anti-gravity there's a there's a du duality to all of nature and uh, you know I, I wouldn't I mention this because um, I mention all this because uh, it's difficult to see how how would gravity manipulation be possible, and uh, and I think this is a plausible theory that makes it easier to see how it might be possible, and I, I don't recommend that anyone try to f prove it, uh, waste your time or. Uh, uh, breath trying to get people to listen just uh, physics isn't going to change until somebody uh, uh, until somebody uh, does the impossible you know then it'll change and uh, there aren't a lot of people who are uh, uh, truly interested you know so hope that helps Hope that makes some sense. I think a lot of people are thinking along the same lines, and uh, and maybe they didn't piece it together just uh, so much. Uh, anyway, that's it.